No, look at this. You whipping the bazaar or what? Yeah. Oh man. Look at the uh, the stop mats. Those are cool. <laughs> How much horsepower is 1.9 diesel? 60 horsepower? Oh my goodness. But it sounds cool though. Yeah. All right, in you go. Bye. Oh, this thing's sick. So they're taking that to base. I'm driving this, and then uh, we're going to Belgium today. That thing looks sick. so good rolling because the GTI is not like a fast car. It's, it's zippy and it's quick-ish, but it's not fast by any means. But this car compared to the Passat that has 68 horsepower new with the 1.9 diesel, this car feels like a rocket ship because we come out of turns and I barely get on the gas and I'm like in the back bumper of that car. The 1.9 diesel is cool, but it definitely needs that turbo added to that one. It looks pretty cool. It looks nice rolling. Yeah. I will say though, like when I was behind you, like that car's not fast, yeah. but out of the corner, I like barely touched the gas and I'm like in the back bumper. I saw that. I didn't know if you were just gonna No, pass I was just driving you. normal, but I was like, this car just <laughs> has no power no to it. Power but it looks awesome rolling though. Yeah. Such a cool car. I said, maybe we might use some trim paint today. Yeah. You can take it home with you. Oh, get you all. That's 100% what we're doing. Get you all squared <laughs> away. What a cool pair. A car that came from Belgium and a car that was built in Belgium. Do you know where this car was built, by chance? And I don't know where it's built. Uh, it's the original Belgian car. Okay, so yeah, two cars that were both built in Belgium. Kind of cool. Paint here or? Yeah, did it have it? Oh, you're in luck. Here. My friend. Oh, they have a lot, actually. <laughs> you are in luck. We might just talk about some more. Thank you. Listen, this is. How much do I need for one car? Get, get you a couple can. I don't know. We'll just load you up a little bit. Oh. Normally it's out of stock, but you lucked out today. All right, Casey's going to get gas, and now it's my turn to ride the Passat. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, wait, am sir? I driving? Yeah, of course. Oh, shoot. If, if I want to, of course I want to. <laughs> yes. Look at this thing. You said 89, correct? Yeah, this yeah, thing correct. is beautiful. And you said, so right now it has, what, 365 yeah, on the cluster. The isn't working. <laughs> but you said the car, the chassis has like 600,000 yeah. kilometers. Still kicking. Also, I noticed this on the speaker grill down there. There's a Volkswagen logo. And these are also the same as Corrado uh, window cranks. Oh, this is cool. I just love old cars and seeing all the little differences here and there. Yeah. Also, first Passat. No clutch? Uh, oh, the back half of your key is missing. I was like, what am I feeling? <laughs> that key's seen I some drilled, stuff. I drilled a new hole. <laughs> okay. Yes. Like I said, we gotta throw a turbo on this thing. Yeah, Which fine. I know for you guys is not really allowed, but. Belgium. Oh, is the hamburger here? No, this. Oh, what is this? That's um, choke. Oh, is uh, a choke on this thing? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's I haven't had to do with that with anything. It's a diesel. Wow. <laughs> so do I need to push it in now? Or is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. It's running, so you can push the choke in. Okay, so. This thing is so cool. And it's a wagon. Just awesome. Thank you for driving this thing. I appreciate it. No problem. Is there AC? No, there's no AC. No. no okay. AC. It does have central locking, which is cool for yeah. 89. That's pretty it's, sweet. It's um, the GL, so it's the luxury. Like, like the higher, yeah. yeah. So GL, but no sunroof. No. Because a lot of times, like in the States, like the higher models always had sunroof. Yeah. So it's interesting yeah. to see that there's no sunroof in this one. This thing is so cool. I love it. And then same steering wheel as Casey's Mark II. It's a mix of like Mark II, then you have like the Mark III shift knob, and then like some like Corrado style yeah. stuff. This thing is so sick. And it rides really smooth. Yeah, I'm about this. I've always wanted like a B3, B4 Passat, and now I just want one more. All right, well first, you know, two minute drive in the Passat. And I love it. What suspension you said? MS? MTS. MTS from Poland, right? Yeah. It rides really nice. And you guys saw the height of the car plus the small tires, but it's so smooth and comfy. 
like there's no like creaks or anything the diesel's sick i will admit you have to push the gas pedal really really hard but i don't know i'm about it this thing's cool man thank you for doing this no problem just say my total limit. yeah this thing is sick and again like at this height with small tires it rides so comfy there's no rubbing also i'm so excited you bought some trim paint because i can't wait to see how good it comes out in this yeah. She's look brand new. All right, now swapping back into the GTI. Mr. Dimitri next to us. We are now heading to Belgium. House. No, we're not heading there. We're heading to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call mom right now and tell you said that. Don't tell her I'm that. gonna call her right now and tell her you said that. I was just kidding. <laughs> no, so we're heading to Belgium because thankfully they found the fourth adapter that we need for my car. So we go pick that up today and drive back home. And but, we're getting the kit to fix the adapters that I broke whenever I- Oh yeah, so we're getting like a kit to re-thread some of these adapters on this car and then maybe some heck blends because he has like a bunch oh, yeah. of those things. So That's little true. impromptu adventure today, a lot of driving, but it'll be fun. Definitely worth it. And seeing this thing on the Autobahn will be sick. So worth it. Ready? You take some cool rolls. Listen, I need you to be doing 190, 200 kilometers in that thing to the floor. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Oh, with the background. It's really pretty. Dude, that car looks so sick rolling. Oh, yeah. Here it is. The last little bridge crossing over into Belgium. We've been to Belgium a lot of times. This is like our fifth or sixth time over here. Not too bad of a drive. His shop is like three and a half hours away. Bam, there it is. Officially in Belgium once again with a Belgium car and another Belgium car. I bet I kind of cool to bring this car back. We'll actually be like maybe 30 minutes from Brussels. So this car was built back in 94, 93. Now she's back home, which is pretty exciting. Hold on, yeah, nice. hold on, sir, <laughs> sir, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I think, I think you touched it. I think, okay. he said he did, he heard it. Oh yeah, you did touch it, yeah, you're, you're on. <laughs> Why did you get so close? <laughs> it's literally touching. Look, my finger, oh, wait, you're, uh, no, you got like maybe like five mil. There we go, okay. <laughs> You gotta park on the curb. Oh yes, we're back. So stopping by his current shop, which will soon be his old shop because his new one's almost done. I think next week he said it should be completely done and moved in, but this is the OG Retro Wheels. Such a sick place. Wheel. Wheel, these are dope, bro, these are. Some Porsche phone dials, snowflakes. I think these are Zender turbos if I'm not mistaken. Those are cool faces. And this is just outside the shop. Borbit, some BBS splits. Yeah, you can sit down there. And this man has so many wheels. Those things are sick. Those are here last time. Those down there. This man has all of the wheels. A little GTI chilling. Not a bad drive. About three hours and like 15 minutes in total. Some more stuff chilling over here. These look like Ferrari 348 wheels, possibly. I know he has a black set of these, he just did. But this looks like his OEM silver set. Some Audi something S5 wheels, maybe? I don't know, this man has all of the wheels. When I say thousands of sets, I mean thousands. And this is just outside, which is wild. There it is. <laughs> they try to get us, but it's okay. No, I have a set of three. <laughs> right, yeah, so now we have the last... 4100 to 501 12 and like i said the package had all the right stuff in it just not the adapter oh well thank you man i appreciate it yeah, no. so i said this was the og shop it was actually one shop before this one his original original shop then into this one and now the new one's almost done you're gonna have quite the time moving all these wheels yeah. and when i say he has you say probably thousands of wheels right yeah like uh, not exaggerating thousands of wheels and we're talking like new old stock rs's ronalds you name it he probably has it like new in box 18 inch rs's everything you name it these he's probably got it and probably got four or five of them yeah. like these just got done really nice. gorgeous there's some ronal faces over there and you know just every everything else these the I wall of rs's oh those are for your rally oh, or, the mark II GTI. oh the mark ii 
Oh, I love the face. Yeah, that European style with the, the face mount. Yeah. So good. So we might get lucky and be able to go to Wizards League with them this year, possibly if we're not middle of moving already gone. Maybe. But it'd be cool to see all the cars. Because it's actually happening this year, which is cool. Oh, this is your favorite tour right here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You love the polisher. Love the polisher. He said polishing is his least favorite thing ever, but that's my outside polisher. Yeah. When it's good weather, I take it outside. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like this. It's a nice. huge truck wheel on it too. That's a nice little setup though. Yeah, and then it stands. Yeah, it's sturdy. And then just every wheel face you can imagine. Some Gaudis back there. What are these ones? These are Porsche. What nine nine three looks like. Uh, nine, nine, uh, no, yeah, they're actually three piece wheels built in Italy, really nice, but they don't have a stamp on it, so I don't uh, know. Who it made looks it. like the 993 yeah. face, doesn't it? Yeah, very similar. Good lord, you have too much. No, it's okay, it's not, it's plenty. <laughs> I always show this section over here because like, it's so cool to see. Yeah, this RS is any of these four by 100 or five. That have uh, an adapter for? I think some sets for by 100s too. Listen, I don't have a set of RSs yet, you know? Yeah, I mean, every time I come back here, it always blows me away. Oh, these are nice. The Riles, I like those. Some like 22s. Every time I'm here, I'm blown away. Hmm. Porsche, phone now, three piece face. I think these are E88s, possibly. So look at this the Sebring's cut to do three piece or two piece. More Sebring faces. I mean, it's just, it never ends. And I think back there somewhere, yeah, there is another Mark II back there. More BBS LM face, I think. Lips. And I mean, when I say this man has all of the wheels and multiple of each wheel and every rare thing you can imagine, he's got and probably new inbox, which is blows me away. What is that? Chrome, like gold face? Look at that back there. What is that one? Sick, dude. This is so much in here. It's crazy. RS2 faces, some OZ Ultra Legeros up there. More LM faces. Somewhere in here, or maybe the new shop, my BBS RC 041s are getting done, which is sick. Like I said, these are going to be on his Mark II for Warlords this year. Some big old 19s. Goodness. Ooh. Ooh. You guys know I want some Bentley wheels for my wagon. And I know he has a few sets that are so good. Look at these little like 13 inch Ronald turbos. And then some Porsche. I'm not sure. Maybe 996. Maybe earlier than that. A little bit of damage. But it's okay. New lip in your set. Looks like a Caddy. Trunk. Some Audi dealership plate. Man oh man. I love seeing this place. So good. And after we go here, we go to his new shop, which I showed maybe, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. It's just about done and it's looking so good. We'll show you an update of his shop later. But I love coming here and just seeing all the stuff, all the goodies. Yeah, these are sick. I like these a lot. He just finished them. I think they did ceramic coating on them as well to keep them clean, but beautiful wheels. Some Tesla wheel. Goodness, man. I love this place. So before he had a wheel here, but now it's a coffee table, but still. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's this one in the corner. How wide is this? Like 14, 15? Uh, 13 by 18. 13 by 18. Oh my goodness. A little BBS. And a Porsche hood. What? That's the wheel from the re the re wheel from a Zach Speed Capri. That's from that car? Yeah. That's so cool. What's this from? Which uh, Porsche? Porsche. Which model? Uh, 963. 963. It's so cool. I got it from my birthday and it'll be on the new shop against the wall. That's very cool. No, I like it in the house though. It's okay. Yeah. 13 by 18. I can't believe that. That's massive. That's so cool. There's the old one. Good God. What is this one from again? Uh, Porsche. Porsche is it's huge. Hello there. Hang out with us. Dang. Massive, meaty, slick. I need some wheels in the house. I had some, but not like a coffee table. I need a coffee table in the house with that. Oh, I didn't say last night. That was cool. Yeah. The whole Mark One breakdown. 
Yeah, yeah Mark II. Oh, Mark II? Yeah, you're right, yeah. They don't have a substitute feature. That's cool. Uh, you know? Yeah, I need more car decorations in the house for sure. <laughs> oh, I love these. Oh, hello again. Mark II, I have two times. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I have the Mark III shirt. But I didn't know they, I didn't know they made posters. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, no, this, this Mark I. One. Wow. <laughs> Mark One GTI, Cat, Mark Two, and Three. You just want all the attention. That's okay. You're super sweet. Those are so cool. Yeah, I must have missed it. I got the shirt for this I one, but I think he still has them on his website. Does he? Know? Okay, I'm gonna yeah. need, I'm gonna need these in for sure. They're not, not expensive, so. I love all the detail too, cause yeah. like even the cassette down there, the factory yeah. radio. <coughs> I need the the Vortex meters. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Lots of detail. Just two Belgian cars in Belgium. How cool. All right, wait till you see this. And there's doors and it rolls up as well. Dude, this place is gorgeous. Wow. So we came here maybe, I can't remember, maybe a year or so ago, and he had just kind of started on this. Uh, the wood wasn't done. Some of the black was done, I think, but this was all open. Uh, this wasn't done, that wasn't done, and now, I mean, Dude, this is sick. Wow. Definitely congrats for his business growing like this. That's so cool. Dude, this building looks absolutely incredible. I said he hopes to be out of his old shop. I think he wants to be fully in this shop the week after Worthersy, I want to say, which is in May. Um, but dude, the secret this came from to where it's at now, I mean, incredible. I'm so happy for him and his business. This is too cool. I can't get over how good this place looks like it's a wheel restoration business but the building just looks top tier professional what a beautiful building to have again if you're not already following retro wheels show him some support the man's awesome great friend of ours super awesome people and i mean the business just keeps growing and growing we got a lot of plans in the future stuff to do together you'll see but it's sick look at that Oh, I love this. Mark II cut in half. Wow, it's so cool. From, a, from what we seeing it last time to seeing it now, so much awesome progress. Oh, wow. That is amazing. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it says retro wheels and metal in the wood. And then, yeah, you showed me that. I love that. That's your Mark II award, is he correct? This is the coolest office ever. You win. You win office of ever. I give you the award myself because this is too cool. Wow, this is huge too. This is is like your desk here or how yeah. you? Yeah. This will be the desk, and here will be uh, yeah a lower desk where we can yeah. sit and discuss things. So this is like your like. Well, this will be like the main lobby. Or that's the main lobby over there. No, this will be the door where the clients come in. Okay. So they can walk in here. This is open to the public. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Two two days a week. Okay, perfect. That's cool. So you can come here possibly and see all his cool stuff. What about that one over there? <laughs> yeah, it still needs to be painted. It's to, the same as. That can go to my house? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> oh my god. Christian. Huh? Oh. Oh. You know what's wild to me? My god. Uh, okay, so like I said, I don't know if there's light in here. It's okay. I'll put this one on. There's, if I had to guesstimate, another. 600 wheels here. I mean, this is probably all new in box stuff. Let's let's look. I'm gonna open this box just to see what's in here. Ooh, look at that. Just oh, there's okay. I knew there's a light somewhere. So you're telling me, sir, this new shop, yeah. the brand. Look, I want you to look at me when I say this. The <laughs> brand new shop that you are not in yet yeah. is this full. Yeah. And the other shop we just saw is also, equally full. Yeah. You already in a new shop. What are you going to do with all your wheels? <laughs> I'm going to stack them really good. Yeah, so oh, goodness. We tell them all the so, so buying no, you send them all to me. I'll be your stateside representative yeah. for Retro Wheels. Yeah, okay. No, okay. I thought I had a parts problem. No, you, sir, you have a wheel problem because this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. And all this is for sale currently. Yeah, of course. Yeah. These are so, wheels. Those are huge. No, the ones. Oh, the Z boxes. Oh, these ones. Like I said, this man has. If you could think of a rare wheel, he's probably got five or six new in box. So, 
What are these ones? I, I bet you have five or six. What are these ones? Oh my, oh, these are the ones you posted. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't want to unwrap everything, but like. <laughs> Rough estimate, how much are these worth if you had to sell these? Or what's the going price? I don't know. I, Close to three? Five. 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 Okay, five. I was, I had to say three. <laughs> three. Five thousand. Are these 19s or 18s? 20. Oh God, 20s. 20 E88 transports with brushed faces. Good Lord. Well, if you want to buy these fills, you can buy them. <laughs> yeah, 5,000 I don't have that kind of money, but oh, they're, they're beautiful. I mean, you posted these. I yeah, knew they were that big. They're huge. Instagram. They're crazy in person. This is like for like, what? What would you put this on? Mm, Porsche Mark maybe? 7, TT. But it's 20s? Oh, that's, I guess more yeah. of a European style for 20s, yeah. I guess. Yeah, okay. Like 20s and tuck? We, yeah, we all drive 20s. Yeah, that, yeah, that, makes, that makes sense. It would be perfect on um, A4. Okay, A4. yeah, I, I see. Um, you, sir, have a problem. Ah, okay, yeah. I mean, it's a good problem, oh, but... Yeah, okay, yeah. Gary, your wheels. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my, my other ones? Which ones? Yeah, it's really, I don't know. Am I not seeing them? Oh, there they are. These one for the container? Yeah. Uh, these are what, 5 by 120? Or which ones are these ones? Uh, I think 110. Oh, 110? So that's like what? Saab? Saab, okay, yeah. Wow, and then I have these ones. <coughs> those are well, those are my exact wheels. Yeah, they're just getting mine are not those ones, but getting redone. Yeah, RCs yeah. yeah. down there. Those always look super crazy. Off the Saab again. Gotties. Oh, these are cool. Off the Alpha. Yeah. They are five times ninety-eight, so you could fit them on Mark. Ah, with wobble bolt. Yeah. Yeah. You have two sets. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll take one. That's fine. Ooh, Lorenzers. New in box? Yes, they are. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's crazy. So this is your personal collection here? No, it's, this oh. will be all rebuilt and sold. Okay, well, I'm going to put... Except of those that sing. Uh, I was going like, <laughs> to try and get two sets. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, those are cool. The 993 is up top, I think. Yeah. And then yeah, some so RFs. Centers. That's the other one. Yeah, okay, yeah. Guys are cool. So yeah, all these are for sale. Yeah. I do like the Gaudis a lot. Yeah. I might need. We're, we're gonna do a lot more business because yeah. I mean, I love wheels. Yeah. There's so much good stuff in here. Good lord, it's crazy. <laughs> it's a month here now, and still haven't find time to sort it out and to see what I've what I've what I've got and what I've don't got. And... Maybe next week when we come back, we can open a few possibly. Yeah, of course. Here it's are just some, stacks and stacks. Here are some really cool ones from the Austria find. Thirty years old. Thirty years old new unbox. Box. Oh my! So my friend Greg has these on his car. Are these sixteens though or seventeens? Uh, sixteens. So he has them in seventeens. With, with the tooth. <laughs> wow, with tooth paperwork. Are these one hundred? They're bigger than one hundred. Uh, Does it say on here? No ID. Uh, sixteen by seven and a half. <coughs> Et thirty eight. One hundred twenty, I think. I don't. My maybe I'm missing. I don't see it. It looks big. I think one twelve or one twenty, probably. Well, I mean, I have 112 adapters now, so I mean, I like this lip. It's like a just a slant lip. It's really yeah. nice. So this is new old stock. Yeah, it's brand BMW. new. It's a 120. 120. I have 120 adapters, you know. Wow, those are cool. And then this is the newest one you got, right? Yeah. The diesel Mark II yeah. with the paint match wheels. I love that. And these are the ATS cups, yeah. I believe. I like this. The paint's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Last time we were here. The, the the structure was here, but there's nothing else left. Nothing else. And his father's mini. Dude, I'm so happy for you. Like seriously, like high five. Like this is this is honestly so cool. Like this is awesome. Wow, congrats! I can't wait to see it, like completely like done done. Yeah, still a, little, a lot of work to do, but we'll get there. Oh, I bet. And you said probably after Worthers that you want to be yeah. working here for sure. Yeah. This is cool. So much stuff. Yeah, this is my goal. I want to shop just to keep all, all my things in. Yeah, this is cool. And you said probably the far side will be like your workshop or this yeah. side? No, the far side will be the workshop. And you said you might rent out some of this or not it anymore? was the plan, but not anymore. You see the problem. Yeah, now I see, yeah, I see the problem. What are these things? They're huge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are these of an Urus? Yeah. Nice. I like that they're just here. This is cool. And then BBS stands and yeah, I mean, see the progress from last time till now. I mean, it's crazy because yeah. it, it was a shell last time basically, and now yeah. it's like it's nearly done. Nearly done, yeah. 
like, so one or two weeks and I'm moving yeah. here. Again, this is a congratulations. This is honestly awesome. And it looks so professional. Like, yeah. so some businesses are like, they're cool, but like this is like next level cool. <laughs> I but, did good then. <laughs> oh, you did fantastic. This is amazing. Um, I'm honored to see it grow from what it was to now this. Yeah. This is awesome. All right, last stop of the tour. If you haven't seen enough already, oh, the showroom's so nice. Yeah, wow. still, still needs some work, but. This is what I'm saying. This it's professional really nice. as ever. I'll get the car outside with the sunset. <coughs> yeah, professional oh, as ever. Like the... Oh, did you look at the ceiling? Yeah, the checkered. That is so cool. Wow. Wow. This is the most professional wheel company of all time. <laughs> and you say you could, you could put a car in here yeah, or? One, one car, maybe two here. That's then, awesome. Just for show. Man, this is so cool. The sunset. GTI made it here. So we've had her Mark IV wagon here and a GTI here. Actually, both on the same wheel, funny enough. Yeah. Crazy. So this would be like the chill lounge area, TV, snacks, food, that kind of stuff. And then his personal warehouse on that side for his cars and stuff. And then a lift on the far side and then storage and I think workshop for like wheel polish and cutting that kind of stuff would be that back left corner. But yeah, place is amazing. Not a bad day. What you think? It's really nice. It's beautiful. Uh, dude, again, I'm so excited for you. This is so cool. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, almost finished. No, is this, I'm, not, I'm just trying to like take it all in. Quickly, last thing to show. In the back of the Passat. Um, no. My wheels. So we gave the, oh no, I broke this thing. So we gave the Mark II Montreal to Dimitri. He's gonna make them into three piece, maybe 16s or 17s because we wanna try and possibly build a car over here for where there's a 2024, maybe somewhere far out, maybe like a Mark One, Mark Two Jetta on these, either 17 or 16, but three piece, maybe fully polished, something crazy like that. But we had a loss of coming with Dimitri, so stay tuned. But yeah, these are in good hands now. All right, my friends, it is currently about 12.30 at night, about seven hours of driving today, but 1,000% worth it. Had an absolutely amazing day, and we got the elusive final adapter, which means tomorrow we can put the final Cygnus on the car and just, oh, look at this. Oh, this is so good. Absolutely beautiful. Again, Dimitri, thank you so much for selling me these wheels. They will never, ever, ever leave my possession. I absolutely love them. And tomorrow we can make it a complete set around the car. But aside from getting this, uh, just a great day. We love going to Belgium, hanging out with them. They're such good friends of ours and they're just so nice and so welcoming. And I mean, I am so happy for him and his business. The new building's amazing. I mean, the old building to me is amazing as well, but his new shop, his new building, it looks so professional. It's so well done. It's so nice. I mean, just absolutely amazing. So again, if you haven't already, I've said it a bunch of times, but follow Dimitri, follow Retro Wheels, check him out. If you're looking for wheels of any kind, he has literally, you saw, this man has everything you can pretty much imagine. If you want 18 inch BBS RSs, if you want 20 inch BBS E88s, if you want, I mean, anything you could imagine, he has probably new in box as well. Those wheels are from him. These are from him. I have my BBS RCs coming from him. I mean, I said, you guys saw what he has. He's got it all. He does amazing work, three piece conversions. Uh, you need powder coating, stripping, any of that kind of stuff. He's got you covered and they're just super nice people and just very, very good friends of ours. So definitely check them out, show them some support, but I'm gonna end this video here. I'm exhausted. I gotta edit this video still, but today was, uh, today was a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.